Okay, this is an open letter to doctors. Uh, this is to help you out. Okay, I know what it's like. Okay, I'm a, I've been a doctor over 30 years. I'm triple boarded, you know. Um, I did uh, interventional radiology, imaging guided surgery, fellowship at Harvard. Then I did a uh, neuroradiology fellowship and I do a lot of neuroradiology. Still do a little bit of interventional. Um, I'm just letting you know, I've gone through all the internal medicine textbooks and the internal medicine subspecialty textbooks, many of them. And I can tell you, they're all a joke. They're all totally out of date. And they're quite frankly, they're wrong. Uh, the good news is that it actually is known the causes of most of the common diseases. All the books that say things like hypertension, 95% is unknown. That's not true. In my videos on this site, I go through all this stuff. I, I got 99s in med school and in residency on my boards. I know, I know the conventional teaching. Medical school is basically internal medicine training. Um, and so basically, I know you want to help your patients. You're kind of frustrated. You know your drugs don't really work very well. You're tired. You're overworked. You don't got much time to read. You don't want to be forced to learn a whole bunch of new stuff. This stuff is never going to be allowed in conventional medicine because it would decrease the profits of big pharma. So they're never going to allow it. You have something that you have to do on your own. But it's, it's pretty easy to do. You just watch, you know, try to watch a video, you know, every night if you can when you eat dinner. That's easy to do. And you will learn what actually causes disease and what can be done to prevent it. The next problem you're going to run into is your patients aren't going to want to do it. Uh, probably about 98% of patients, they're just not motivated or they're stupid, they're lazy. And it's not just the patients, it's, it's going to be your family too. I got doctors in my family that are fat and sick and don't want to uh, fix their health. That's pretty common. You know, lots of relatives. I got relatives that, you know, from my wife's side of the family. You know, my family's a, little more, a lot more with it than my wife's side of the family. But still, you know, they'd rather go for surgery <laughs> than change their diet. Uh, so anyways, and the other thing too that's happened to doctors is you get all these bad habits from hanging around with other doctors. You get in the habit of drinking coffee, being stressed out, sleep deprived. That's all bad for health. Uh, residency sort of trains you to have these bad health habits and then to think it's normal because everyone else is the same way. Um, but, you know, the other thing too is there's this idea in medicine that the AOA students and their standards at the big medical centers are like the highest in medicine. And I can tell you it's not true. The things you don't know is you don't know NETS. N for nutrition, E for epidemiology, T for toxicology, and then S for all the soft stuff, stuff that doesn't get talked about much, but it's valuable, you know, getting your sleep, getting sunshine, having a sense of purpose, having a spiritual sense, a religious sense. Religious people are way healthier. Sedentary versus exercise, the importance of exercise, social support, all this stuff that starts with us. Those are the things that keep people well. Um, so anyways, I'm letting you know, it's all here at this channel, it's all free. And what'll happen is your patients will still ignore you, have crappy outcomes and take drugs the rest of their life. But at least you will have known the truth and given them a chance. And you can learn this stuff real easy just from watching a video a day. You'll, you'll know, you'll learn more in one week of doing that than you've learned in your entire medical career. Because like I said, the information simply isn't in your literature. It's not in your journals. It's not in your books. They all suck. Uh, but it's available here for free. I wanted to learn all this stuff and I found it all here. I wish I would have found it 30 years ago. I could have helped my parents a lot more. I uh, could have helped a lot of friends. I wish I knew all this stuff, but I didn't. But now I do, and it's all here. So um, all you got to do is watch the videos, and you'll be amazed at what you learn. I'm so far ahead of you. You don't even understand. It's not even one standard of visa. It's more than two standard deviations. Gosh, it's about four standard deviations. You'll be surprised. It's all here. Okay, there it is.